It was May 2022 that police responded to this home in the Cole neighborhood. Elizabeth Hatless reported a verbal dispute with her estranged boyfriend, Travis Tuami. And she alleged that three months earlier, he had tried to strangle her. Well, members of the public absolutely have a, a right to aggressive investigation of serious crimes. And domestic violence is definitely a serious crime. But after Detective Anna Munoz was assigned to investigate that delayed report, she made only one attempt to talk to Hatless, a failure in the eyes of the department and Nine News legal analyst Scott Robinson. One call to a voicemail that's full is probably not enough. Three months after Munoz was assigned that case, Hatless was dead, murdered in the backyard of the home she and Tuami shared. He faces a first-degree murder charge. And Detective Munoz faces a three-day suspension for failing to follow up. Discipline documents note the domestic violence unit has an unwritten rule. A detective assigned to a case is supposed to try at least three times to reach a victim. I would say that would be a minimum in a serious case such as domestic violence. Detective Munoz said the case was low priority because of Hatless's delay in reporting. A stale case is difficult for the police in the absence of corroborating evidence, corroborating proof. Even so, it leaves a question for which there is no clear answer. This is one of those instances where it's impossible to know for sure whether the death of this woman could have been avoided. Munoz is scheduled to serve her three-day suspension later this month. Tom and Kim? So did the investigation point to other issues that might have kept the detective from doing more? It did. It noted the caseload in the domestic violence unit at the Denver Police Department. At the time they were doing this investigation, they had over 1,000 cases and 11 detectives to work them. Wow. All right. Thank you very much, Kevin.